Welcome to MEI Numerical Methods Convergence. In this video we'll be looking at solution of equations. Now to recap from the previous video we saw that the definition of first order convergence was where the error term was proportional to the previous error term and the constant of proportionality k had to be smaller than 1 in magnitude. It can in fact be negative as long as it's between minus 1 and 1. And if you recall from when we were using the fixed point method to solve equations that the condition of convergence was that g dash of alpha had to be between minus 1 and 1. And as you can probably guess it can be shown that g dash of alpha is the same thing as k for the fixed point method. Now, in the case of the fixed point method, the, it is actually only approximately first order convergence. And uh, there's also a problem when g dash of alpha equals zero, because it wouldn't make sense to say that the error was zero times the previous error. And it can be shown that in that case, the error is approximately proportional to the previous error squared. In other words, we've got uh, second order convergence. Now we saw in the previous video that we can find an approximate value for k by working out the ratio of differences and what this would mean in practice would be that we'd have to do a number of iterations until the ratio of differences uh, settled down to uh, a reasonably constant value. So in this case it, uh, it sort of settles on approximately 0.19 and if you were to find the, the derivative of g of x and substitute in a value that was close to alpha you should find that it's um, approximately 0.19 so that, in fact, is another way of, of deciding in advance whether the method is going to work, whether it's going to converge. If you happen to know uh, a value that's reasonably close to alpha, then um, you can establish uh, whether your g dash of alpha is, is likely to be between minus 1 and 1. And then finally, uh, the newton raphson method can be shown to be a special case of the fixed point method when g dash of alpha is zero and of course this means that it has second order convergence and that explains why it's uh, it's usually faster than uh, than all the other methods so that concludes uh, this video and we'll be looking at numerical integration in the next video